This is Doug Brown, and today I want to show you Hop2 Work versus IE running on a typical RD client for the iPad. On the left is Hop2 Work. On the right is the RD client running IE. On the left, we see logging into a web page. It looks and feels as though it's you're on Safari on a local iPad. On the right, it looks like you're on IE on a Windows machine. On the left, you click on a text box to log into a typical application. It brings up the keyboard automatically. On the right, it doesn't do that. You have to click that little toolbar on the top. You have to find a little icon for the keyboard. And let's we'll get back to that one. On the left, we're already in the application. Smooth scrolling. Uh, as you see, it just looks and feels as though you're on Safari. You're on an iPad after all. On the right, oh, we're almost, are we logging in? We are just now logging in on the right. We're in the application. We're going to, we're going to create an event. So we go ahead and click on the text box. It automatically brings up the keyboard. This is the way it zooms up the screen. We see the text box on the right. Well, we're, we're almost in the app. Like, oh, we're in the app, but oh, we're finally in the event section on the left. We've already added the, the, the name. Oh, we click on the combo box. It looks and feels as though it's a local combo box. It's big. It's touch friendly. It's a mobile app experience. On the right, it looks looks like you're on Windows. So iPad users don't use Windows. On the left, oh, we're done. On the right, we're just now clicking into the text box. If we click on the combo box, eh, it's small. It's not that bad, but it doesn't look like a mobile app experience. Hop to the mobile app experience.